They had won eight in a row now in the middle of the Western Conference. The Oklahoma City Thunder clearly coming together. Scott Rafferty, writer, contributor of the step back. Let's talk about one of their unsung heroes, at least so a little bit here. Steven Adams, the man in the middle. How important has he been to this resurgence? I know it's been about Russell being Russell and working with Paul and working with Mello. But Adams is just sitting there doing his thing and kind of figuring the thing out at, at, you know, as we go as well. What's Steven Adams been able to do with this group? Yeah, he's uh, he's very important to the success. Um, you know, for a team that's built around three all-star caliber players, which the Thunder are, um, you need role players around them who not only understand their role, but kind of accept that role um, and can excel in that role. And that's, you know, Adams is a perfect example of that. Um, and I think it shows through in, in how he approaches rebounding. So this season, he's on he's having a funky season in that he's on pace to become the first player ever to average five offensive rebounds per game and less than 10 total rebounds per game. Um, so statistically, he's the best offensive rebounding big man in the NBA right now and one of the worst defensive rebounding senses. Um, but that's not because he's a bad defensive rebounder. Um, it's that he sacrificed that part of his game uh, for the Thunder. So the person who does lead the way for them in that way is Russell Westbrook. Um, and a lot of his defensive rebounds, rebounds have been uncontested. And that's because Adams boxes out the opposing team's best offensive rebounder to kind of create those grab-and-go opportunities for Westbrook. Um, and that completely changes how the Thunder function because they can push the ball in transition with Westbrook. Um, and then Adams attacks the off offensive glass at a rate no one else does. Um, and players like Paul George have spoken about the importance of that. You know, having a guy who attacks the glass like Adams does offensively um, gives them the confidence to shoot basically any time they think they have an advantage. Um, and the Thunder average about 18 second chance points per 100 possessions with Adams on the court. And that goes down to about 11 when he's on the bench, um, which is the difference between like leading the league in that regard and being at the bottom. Um, so, you know, that has a huge impact on their offense, you know, how those guys are shooting. Um, and it, you know, it, make, it just it changes the, the, the dynamics of them completely. We're talking about some fundamentals here. I enjoy it. Yep. And uh, hey, that there's, there's, I, li I like that little inside the Thunder. Scott Rafferty, great stuff. Thank you.